G'day guys, Lindsay here for Web Wombat Theatre and we're here today with one of the most delightful, cute and lovely things to be seen in Avenue Q. Oh, it's the bear. Here. Yeah, no, it's Hello. Josie. I'm actually talking about Josie because... Oh, no, that's not true. It's me. I'm the star of the show. <laughs> I can see mouth moving. What's the, the process of having to learn how to puppetise? Um, we started learning puppetry when we were doing rehearsal, so we did the dialogue with the puppetry at the same time. It's more or less making them alive, so we had to have them in a fixed position and keep them looking around the room the same way that we did, so we'd have to go the same way and look for things in the room and pick them up and breathe with it and talk with it and interact with each other, so the other puppets. You do a few puppets in the show. What's your favourite one? Is, it, is the bear the best way to go? Yeah, definitely. You know, it's the naughtiest and it's the cutest. Joe's, the, there's a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes. Have there been any showmances so far? No, not not yet. Well, one of the things we always like to spread on Web Wombat is uh, just myths and rumours, like the Richard Gere gerbil myth, right? What's one that we can start about you right now? Oh, about me? Yeah. And you can start it yourself. Oh, uh, she puts out. She puts it out there. No, I'm, I'm in a myth. Oh. Hey! <laughs> Intensive is the process of doing musical. Uh, we do about eight shows a week. You, you don't get weekends and all that sort of stuff because you do four show four show weekends. So yeah, we we're talking before, and you were saying that uh, most of the cast in, in Avenue Q are, are in their thirties or so, and you're twelve. Now, what was the, your big break in uh, musicals? Uh, my big break would have had to be in Spelling Bee, which is I left school and I was going to take a year off and then audition for Whopper, Nida, all that sort of stuff, and then I got a call from my singing teacher, Maddie Frank, who. He was the music director, or as the associate music director on Spelling Bee, and they were looking for someone to play Marcy, and then he just sort of suggested me, and then I auditioned, and I got the role. And what are the tips and keys to auditioning, do you find? I think, I know, it's, it's lame as it sounds, it's just be yourself sort of thing, and be what you'd be at work. So if they give you direction, if they give you this, you just take it, because that's how you're going to be at work. So you've got to be... Wait, what, what, no, be, what, what, what work are you doing where you're just taking no, it? No. You've got to be open to anything that the panel says to you. <laughs> there we go, Josie Lane, singer, dancer and part-time whore. There we go, that was our exclusive look behind the scenes of Avenue Q. Tickets are on sale now. Uh, it starts from the 4th of June in Melbourne, then heads around Melbourne, Sydney, then... Sydney, yeah, Canberra, Perth, Adelaide, it's a big Australian tour, then going on to New Zealand. Pretty exciting, pretty exciting. Well, from us, from Josie, and from the little bear, we'll see you next time. this job. It gets like that sometimes, you know? It's real hard being a bear. A fucking bear. <laughs> I love your dirty mouth. And that was fucked.